Hi, my name is Megan, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to have a perfect softball swing by breaking it down step by step. The first step is to have a good grip, and the first thing you're going to do is grab it and then put your hands down near the knob, and then you're going to line up your knuckles, and you can't squeeze too hard or too loose. Once you have your grip, the next step is to get in a good athletic stance with your feet a little more than shoulder width apart, square it up at the pitcher, and your weight is going to be a little bit more on your back foot. The next step is to get your hands away from your chest and to get them up a little bit higher than your shoulder. And you don't want them too close to your chest or too far out. And then your forearms are going to make a V. Once you're in your stance, the next step is the load. And you're going to make sure that you don't have too much weight on the back foot or too much weight on the front foot, about 60 and 40. And then you're going to take your hands and drive them straight back and not dip your bat any which way. And you're also going to bring your knee in a little bit as well. And then bring it right back. After your load, you're going to bring your hands forward and drive them at the ball, bringing your elbow through first with the, your arms a little bent, and you're going to bring it right to the contact point and keep your front leg straight, and then your back leg is going to be bent a little bit, throwing your hips forward. After you load and get your contact point, the next step is your extension through the zone. So first you're going to get your load, contact point, and then extend your arms. After extension, you're going to make sure that you follow through, that way you get a full transfer of momentum towards the ball. So you're going to start out with your load, contact point, extension, and follow through. And after that, you're going to take a full swing, making sure your weight is still balanced with most of your weight on your back foot and then some still on your front. And make sure that you're turning your hips all the way through when you get to contact, extension, and follow through. And then it should be all fluid. 